Hey, thanks for clicking on my video. If this video helps you, please consider liking this video and subscribing to my channel. It is greatly appreciated and it really helps. Let's get to the video. Hello everyone, in this video we're gonna talk about how we can increase the graphing speed on your TI-84 Plus CE graphing calculator. So what I mean is, have you ever gone on your calculator and maybe in class or your teacher has told you that, hey, we're gonna graph three functions or four functions and, and you type them all in on the Y equals screen, you hit graph, and man, it seems like it takes forever for all those functions to graph. Well, there are two settings on the calculator that we can adjust to improve the speed at which your calculator will graph functions. So let's turn the calculator on. All right, so now the first thing we, that we wanna notice is um, let's graph as if it's very slow and we'll show you maybe this is what your calculator looks like. So let's just say I wanna graph three functions, y equals x, y equals x squared, and y equals x cubed. So we hit graph and it's very slow. So it's, no, it's slow number one and it's only doing one at a time. So there's our linear function, there's our quadratic, and finally, there's our cubic function, right? So that, that took way too long. So the first thing that we can do right now, it's graphing our functions um, sequentially, right? One after the other. So if we hit the mode button and we go down to where it says sequential, if we go right S-I-M-U-L, that's simultaneous. So we hit enter there and now we hit graph and notice now they're all gonna start at the same time. So here's my first one and now my quadratic and my cubic and there we go. So now we've got it a little bit better. They're still graphing pretty slow, um, but at least they're all starting at the same time. So that's number one, mode simultaneous. The second thing is, is we can turn off detecting asymptotes. So obviously these three functions that we have here do not have an asymptote, so it's okay. So to do that, we gotta hit, we gotta adjust the format. So format is the is using the zoom button, but it's in blue above zoom, so we have to do second zoom. So let's go second zoom. And notice at the bottom of the screen, my calculator is detecting asymptotes. So what that means is as my graph or as my calculator is trying to graph the function, it's examining the entire calculator screen to see if there is an asymptote. So if we go off or go down to the bottom and just turn that off. Now watch how fast this will graph. We go to graph and it's so much faster and now all three functions are there right away. Okay, so that definitely helps us graph that a whole lot faster, but if we are graphing a function that does have an asymptote in it, it's gonna make our graph look a little bit strange if we have detecting asymptotes off. So let me show you what I mean by that. If we go back to y equals and let's take off these three functions here. And let's say we wanna graph three divided by, and then in parentheses, x minus one. So we hit graph. And it graphs it really quickly, but it has this weird vertical line in our graph, right? And obviously that's not part of the function because that's our asymptote. So de turn, turning detecting asymptotes off, it helps the speed of the calculator improve. Um, and it's really important and really helpful, especially if you don't have a function that has an asymptote. So if I go back to second format and I turn my detecting asymptotes on, then it will make this function look the way it's supposed to, not showing the asymptote. Okay, so just a couple features there that can help you rapidly increase your graphing speed on your TI-84 Plus CE graphing calculator.